Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina, and we just got back in from a 39-hour adventure. Captain Mark Hubbard and the boys just got back, and they crushed, crushed the fish. Big pile of some massive red snapper. A lot of these big gag groupers, some nice red grouper, some fat mangroves, a really good pile, and yellow tails, vermilions, almacos, some heads and tails in there as well. Looks like you guys had a stellar trip, huh? Oh, we killed them. It was awesome. The fish were right where I left them. <laughs> Went right back out there and I had an opportunity to go into an area that hasn't been fished yet. So now Brian and Dave and Joe and Garrett have a whole nother area they can go find these guys obviously the fish are there they're healthy uh, I mean just look at the quality of these fish and what was I was really surprised how much we caught and we didn't lose awful lot I mean look at the size of those gags it was one of those trips where we just were catching a lot of fish and uh, no matter where we turn between the, the quality gags, red snapper, we got a bunch of corgis, heads and tails, yellow tail snappers. Uh, the only thing I was missing is Dory. Nice, nice catch for real. Uh, what about the bait? What was the hot bait you guys saw? A dead bait. A dead. I mean, we were catching with live bait, but just about anything we threw at them, they liked. Uh, we were doing sardines, goggle eyes, cut. Bonita, they caught a handful on the way out. Um, just about anything. Some of the guys had some nice squid chunks and whole squid. But the uh, just about any kind of dead bait we put down there, they were on top of. It was a really good trip. I think we had a, a good moon phases first thing. It got a little picky late afternoon, so we came back up and shallowed up and got the heads and tails. Nice. Looks like a stellar trip. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. Excellent. Woo. Hot, hot dead day, Mike. That's Phew. awesome. <laughs> it felt good to be out there. Big old pile of fish. Whoa, and whoa, whoa. We saw that again yesterday on the Flying Hub 2. The Flying Hub 2 was out there. They crushed it yesterday. Captain Joe on the Flying Hub 2, they caught a uh, grouper. Over 40 keeper gag grouper. Or not 40 keeper gag. They got over 40 grouper. Uh, with a mix of red grouper and gag grouper and some really nice scamp grouper. So the Flying Hub 2 crushed the grouper yesterday, plus a boat limit of red snapper. So we're talking 40 keeper grouper, 32 keeper red snapper yesterday on the Flying Hub 2. And he said the same thing Captain Mark just said, dead bait was a hot bait, uh, whole squid specifically. Uh, they caught some of the biggest red grouper uh, that jo Captain Joe said it was the biggest red groupers he's seen, uh, average size-wise. So really, really good bite right now on the backside of this new moon. That new moon was Tuesday, uh, and it seems the fish are excited. We had a pretty darn good night bite on this trip during the day. It got a little bit pickier, a little bit trickier, but they grinded it out. And then, like Captain Mark said, towards the end of that day, they picked up a lot for us, and we ended up doing really well. Fishing a little bit of a unique area, and now we're dialing in, following those fish as they move around. Also, keep in mind, guys, don't forget to join us this Friday morning, 8.15 a.m. for our Fox 13 News segment. Don't forget to uh, join us Saturday morning, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. for our Real Animals radio show, live on our Facebook page, and then also Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. for our live stream show. We give away over $800 in free trips. We talk a lot about fishing near shore, inshore, offshore, and answer your questions live. So hopefully you'll see us for a trip uh, out here to go catch some of these fish. And hopefully we'll see you for some fun in the sun. But definitely join us for our live stream show, our radio show, our new segment over the weekends. And don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Y'all have a great day and tight lines. Enjoy this sunrise with us here for a minute and don't forget to check out that webcam if you enjoy the sunrise our webcam new webcam that is on top of the parking garage is live so you can see john's pass live from that webcam if you go to hubbardsmarina.com click info click webcam uh, you'll be able to see all three webcams the dock cam the uh, big fish weigh-in cam 
but the John's Pass camera is the new one, and that's on top floor of the parking garage. It's, it's programmed to show you the sunrise in the morning, sunset at night, and throughout the day, it kind of looks between the Gulf Bridge and jetties. And then we move it around occasionally to show you some dolphins, storms, lightning, whatever's going on. We try to move it around occasionally too, but it's pre-programmed to show you sunset and sunrise. So a great way to kind of enjoy this beautiful area with us when we're not live on Facebook. Y'all have a great day and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon for some dolphin watching, island trips, shelling, snorkeling, and of course some deep sea fishing fun. Tight lines, we're out.